Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial we're going to take a look at how to export your refined mesh from Character Creator 4 to an external 3D software for normal texture baking. In this case, we're going to use XNormal. In the case that you are using Headshot 2.0 on a computer with lower resources, you may want to import a head mesh with a lower poly count in order to save on processing time. In this scenario, once you've completed the Refine Mesh step in Headshot and are ready to generate your CC3 Plus character, you can see an option in the Normal section to import a high poly model to bake a texture for your low poly model export. This is very useful for getting the best visual results. It also gives you the option to use your preferred texture baking software in the workflow. Ok, to start off we need to export our refined mesh from Headshot. On the top left you'll see a Save button which allows you to export your mesh and the associated files and materials to a folder of your choosing, including some OBJ, MTL and INI files, which also include our source low poly model. In this case we want to use 03refinemesh.obj. To bake the normal map in XNormal, you need to import the high and low poly meshes into the high and low definition mesh channels. You can do this by right clicking and selecting Add Meshes, then choosing the respective OBJ files. The low definition mesh will be the 03refinemesh.obj that we previously mentioned in the HS subfolder. In the Baking options, you'll want to ensure that the file output format is set to PNG. Set a 4K resolution size, and in this case we only need normal maps selected under Maps to render. From there, click on Generate Maps to bake your normal map texture, and you'll find the PNG in the specified folder. As you can see, that was rather quick and painless, and the results are nice and detailed. Let's return to Character Creator to generate our character and replace the normal maps there. Back in Headshot, I'm choosing From Source Mesh for the normal option since it's a low poly model and the process will be very fast. If we take a closer look at our character's head once it's finished, you can see that the normal map results are less than ideal, so it's time to replace it with the one we previously generated using XNormal. In the Material tab of the Modify panel, Select the standard skin head material and delete the existing normal map in the bump channel and replace it with the one that we generated, being sure to select normal as the input type. You can see that the results are now drastically improved. You can adjust the strength parameter to adjust how strong you want the normal effect to be on your character's face. The ability to substitute normal maps from other software is another way that Headshot 2.0 provides a more flexible workflow that allows you to integrate your favorite software into your character production pipeline. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.